All right, so check it. It's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. And like I said, this is the first episode of Crazy Stories with DJ Bandana Black, where I'm just reminiscing over the years of different times where my career over this whole DJ game, I, I had some crazy stories. So I'm going to share with y'all episode after episode. And this is episode one, AKA the night Mario Johnson almost got me killed. So this is what happened. It was a one winter afternoon. <laughs> I was on Facebook. I was scrolling through Facebook. Now, just a little bit of backstory. This is when I really just got uh, serious about DJing or whatever like that. I wasn't one of the big dogs in the city as far as DJ. I was really just coming up. So I was hopping on any opportunity to DJ at all. So if somebody say, yo, I'm looking for a DJ, I'm applying right away. I'm trying to get that gig. Most of the time, I didn't get the gig because it was other DJs in the city that was bigger than me. But this particular night, and this is an important part of the story, this particular night, scrolling through Facebook, so Mario Johnson puts up a stat. I don't remember exactly, but it was something to the tune of, yo, um, we looking for a DJ tonight for a, uh, for a birthday party. Is any DJ available? So by the time I seen the stat, it was already up for, for like an hour. So when I seen this, that was already up for an hour. There was no comments from any other DJ. So this was a warning sign now that I think about it, but I didn't catch the warning sign then. So no other DJ replied back saying that they were DJ. This is like a Thursday night too. So I respond, yo, I'm free. What's good? Hit me up, bro. I'm trying to rock out the joint. So he immediately inboxes me and is like, um, yeah, we're looking for the DJ, da 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 I might just when I first started too. So I did it for like a short too. So I'm like, cool, um, what's the address? So he uh, he gives me, inbox me the address. He said this on Smith and Paderewski. <laughs> now mind you, I'm from Central Park, so I don't know anything about Smith and Paderewski. When I hear Smith Street, I'm thinking like Fox Tire, like big open area, a lot of traffic, fairly safe, right? No. So I, I go pick up my cousin, uh, Dumar, and we, we GPS the joint. So we pull up the Smith and Paderewski. So I see like, it's like a bar on one corner. So I go over to the bar and I'm like, this gotta be the address right here, but it's not the address. I'm like, I don't see no other buildings except for this, this corner store right here with these hundred niggas standing in front of the corner store with these jackets. They have like these jackets where you could put like a, it was like a little pouch joint in front of the jacket. So it was like a hundred of them. They all got on jack, same jacket with their hands in their coat. I don't know what was in the coat, but I wasn't trying to find out. <laughs> so I'm thinking when I pull up to the joint, Mario Johnson's going to be there. He's the one who booked me. And I'm saying we, we, we set everything up there. No. I pull up to the event. <laughs> Mario Johnson's not there. It's at a corner store. Now, this, this story is going to end off good. So it's, it's not bad. This one actually ended off kind of good. So it's at a corner store. So um, this was just a few years ago, too. So I might not remember every aspect of the uh, other story. But this is probably my daughter's four. So this had to be at least at least five years ago. So we pull up to the event, whatever like that. Like I said, there's 100, 100 people in front of the store. So I get out of the car. I walk over. I'm like, hey, what's good? I'm DJ Band in the Black. Uh, Mario Johnson booking for a party today. Um, anyone know, know, knows where he's at? And they're like, nah, we don't know where he at. But you the DJ, you can go in there and set up and everything. So I'm like, nah, I need to holler at him first because like, it, it was a last minute event. So this is like on a Thursday night when he hit me for the joint. So I'm like, usually for an event, I need half the money up front. Uh, to secure the date and the other half the night of the event. But since it was a one, it was all on the same day, I told him I needed all the bread up front and I did it for a short. So he like, they all like, no, nah, this is my brother party, whatever like that. Um, he said for you to go in there and set up. So I'm like, nah, I need the bread. Da -da -da. So I go back to the car. Uh, my, my cousin Dumar was with me. So I go back to the car. So Dumar, I'm like, listen, man, we got a small, we got a small problem. One, this ain't our hood. I don't know these niggas. There's a hundred people out here. Uh, we got two choices. We can get out of the car. I got a bad feeling about this. I just had a real bad, this is why I had a bad feeling too, because while we was in the car, while it was a hundred people in front of the corner store, like in my neighborhood, say if we say if we all in front of the Rodney store, right? And the police pull up. Everybody leaving the corner. We put up to the block. It was a hundred in front of the corner store. A police car pulled up. Something, okay, we good. Nope, kept going, left. So I'm like, either we can pull off, and we probably have issues with them later, because they can be like, oh, he is sucky, he left, da, da, da. or we get out the car and try to do the event. So I get out of the car, walk back over to the train, and like, listen, man, I ain't trying to have no issues like that, but this is how I do business, I need the money up front, da, 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 da. So he's like, all right, cool, let me make a call. So I'm thinking he called Mario Johnson. No, he called somebody else. So um, it was, I, forgot, I think it was Sean, I think it was his birthday, the, uh, the bigger brother or whatever. So he got out of the car, he walked over, he's like, yeah, man, they telling me that you don't want to set up, da, da, da. Man, what you, what, you, what you think I'm going to walk you or something like that, man? You think I ain't going to pay you for the event, man? You know who he is? 
So in my head, I'm thinking, yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. I don't know y'all niggas. That's, that's the only thing I'm thinking. I'm thinking that you go over me. So I played it. I'm like, no, it's not even that. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just business, whatever like that. So I'm like, cool, boom. So he give me the bread. We go, in, <laughs> we go into the party. It was so many red flags this night that I probably should have picked up at that time. But I didn't. I wasn't thinking. I was trying to get that bread. So we go inside the event, we set up, whatever like that. Now, mind you, when Mario Johnson told me about the party, he said it was going to be like a, a small family gathering, like a small party, whatever like that. When I put it to the gym, there was 100 people outside, and it was all related. They all looked like each other. Um, they all, I guess they all last name was White. It's the White Brothers, like that. They cool now, so once I got a chance to, when, when I finish the story, you, you'll get it. So I go in there, rock out the party. They bring me over drinks. Uh, let me pour out of any bottle like that. We have a good time. The party is actually good. Now, mind you, I'm still inside this party. I'm still kind of nervous. I'm like, yo, this ain't my hood. I don't know these people. We had sort of a small issue outside about a little, little payment situation or like that. But that scared away. So I see, um, I see, I think it was Woods. I seen Woods walk in. So Woods from my hood like that. But I guess he related to some of them or like that because he came in and they all slapped him up. So I'm like, cut. I'm good because Woods, my man, he obviously know them. So we straight. So I'm a little relaxed. You know, then Gator and him walk in. I, I grew up with Gator and him. So I'm like, all right, cool. So once I feel slightly safe, I really started rocking out. So we rock out the whole party, everybody having a good time. <laughs> so at the end of the event, when one of them had walked over to me, it was like, yo, man, you just did your thing. We got to book you again. Da, da, da. I know it was last minute. We was trying to get every DJ in the city to come through. Nobody would respond back, man. Man, we definitely appreciate you. You're a real nigga from out here rocking out. Da, da, da. I don't know whether everybody else was scared. Or da, 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 da. So, you know, me, I'm playing off like, nah, man, I go everywhere, man. I'm good. Da, da, da. The back of my head, I'm thinking like, nigga, if I'd have known it was here, I definitely wouldn't have responded. That's probably why everybody else ain't respond. <laughs> but it might not be a good, so we chopped it up. And ever since then, we always been good. Every time I see them, they show me love and you know I'm saying, in and out of clubs, different stuff like that. But that was that was one 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 crazy night for that event. Mario Johnson definitely. I was just joking about him getting me killed. We wasn't in no danger for real, for real. Well, I don't know. We might have been. I'm gonna keep it. We might have been in danger, but it turned out good. So shout out to the White Brothers. Shout out to Mario Johnson. Shout out to the whole downtown, the whole 31, that whole area. That definitely showed me love, and it was actually a good good event. I guess they um. It's like a black owned corner store or something that they have there. Um, I don't know if it's still there because I never went back. <laughs> I never went back over there from that day. I never had a reason to go back over there <laughs> that day. But shout out to them, they still uh, do got it. I know uh, Sean does like music with like that. His last mixtape was hard, so make sure you check it out. Well, it's episode one, true stories with DJ Bandana Black, and I'm out.